This is the God Kingdom Philosophy Podcast with creator and master teacher, Mr. Cornell Gregory. Love and Relationships A relationship is about partnership and not just emotional feelings. If an accountant and a doctor form a partnership, each partner is responsible to function in their expertise, their light. To allow the business to perform successfully. Regardless of feelings. The partnership. Will not be productive. If one partner. Does not carry out duties. There is no stronger partnership. Than a man and his woman. Or a woman and her man. In whatever in whatever order you like. The bond between the God King and God Queen is the strongest force when joined together in the universe. The two become one. They become Adam. They become Christ. The kingdom of God, the children of the Father. The world is your inheritance. The God kingdom, followed by the angelic kingdom, and then the animal kingdom, is the order of the universe. The duty of the God king is to protect, to provide, to replenish. The God King is the seed carrier. The Queen is your earth. As a farmer plants seeds in his field, so the God King must replenish her by sowing seeds of love and care into her, protecting her as the rib protects the heart. To the queen, you are the strongest force in the universe. You are earth, you are love, and you are God. You must know this. In the garden story, the snake challenged the woman's identity, told her God was withholding knowledge from her. God is your father and earth is your mother. You are the life carrier. When the splitting of the atoms occurred, religion says that woman was made From the rib. Three. Rib was removed. And woman was created from the heart. You are the heart of all creation. The heart pumps blood throughout the body. Jesus restored the woman who was losing blood. With the issue of blood, if you will, for 12 years. If she loses life, blood, we go without life. She is the life source that pumps blood throughout the body. You are created to love and nurture and care for all creation. As the woman at the well was thirsty, you are the water the universe needs for our survival. The water must flow through you as the mother nurtures the child in her womb. 
We are in your womb. We are in your womb and you carry us. We need your water. Know who you are. Live out created purpose. He is the key and you are to and you are the door. He is the key and you are the door to both heaven and earth. We are gods and children of the Most High. To the queen, a queen that learns the lessons of her mother rules and will forever be wise. Earth is your mother, my queen. She is the mother of all matter, physical. She produces good fruit. She provides warmth. She provides life. She provides love. She carries all creation in her womb. This is your mother, my queen. Learn her lessons. To the God Queen. Woman equals queen. Is she wise or a fool? Poisonous seeds from man and snakes produce poisonous fruit. God equals spirit. Energy equals light. Love equals life equals wisdom. The father of all creations, the one, the source of all life. The queen who understands her power is wise and is one with her father. She speaks his language. She is the God queen. She will change the world. She will slay the dragon. She will pro provide us with water. She will produce a new generation of kings and queens out of the darkness she will bring forth light. To the God Queen, to the daughter of the Creator, the God Queen, woman. It's time for the Queen to wake up from her slumber. The giant systems of separation has sent you on a evil search for identity and purpose. You have become pregnant with seeds of poison and we see the fruit. Our bodies are in chaos. Our soul, mind, is in chaos. Religion told you that a man was the solution to your chaos. But a man did not create you. The creator of the sun and the moon created your body with his hands, gave you his DNA, his spirit, life, energy. You are the daughter of the creator. The snake sent the woman on an evil search that poisoned her fruit. The God kingdom philosophy is here. Plant it in your soul and watch your fruit change. Watch your life change. Watch our world change. I want to lie 
Chapter 2, The Buried Treasure Within Thousands of people have lost their life in search of buried treasure, spent countless number of hours decoding maps and researching clues in hopes of recovering valuable precious metal, gems, or other valuable objects. What if I told you that the parables regarding the kingdom of God Jesus taught are clues to a buried treasure, not just any buried treasure, but the most precious, costly, pricey, expensive, high-priced, high-end, upscale, priceless, and valuable treasure the universe has ever seen. Even angels had to look at amazement when this treasure was created. Would you believe me? I have always wondered what a spirit looked like. We see examples in scripture of spiritual beings, and one in particular, Lucifer. He was made of precious jewels, and when the light shined on him, he sparkled like diamonds and other precious gems do, as the light of the sun shines on them. So he gets cast out of heaven and stripped of his ability. So when he is seen or recognized, if you will, by someone after he was cast out of heaven, he was met with a question, aren't you the one which weakened the nations? As to say, what happened to you? You don't look that powerful to me. So the father planted his seed into the earth and created the first man, Adam, God King. So as a child looks like both mother and father, we are both spirit and matter, heaven and earth. The physical you is your earth, your body, if you will. So we know what your earth looks like. We can see you. But what does the real you look like? What does the strong man that's inside the house look like? The thinker of the thoughts, the mover of the body, the real you. What does that person look like? God is light. And God is spirit. He is the source of all light energy. So as the diamonds and the other precious jewelry are inside the earth, so the spirit you, the God spirit, the strong man, the thinker of the thoughts and mover of the body, the inward man, are made of the most precious jewelry ever created. And when you become one with light, stand in front of the window of your house, you sparkle, shine, and reflect light. Your house is filled with light. Your light shines throughout the universe. You are the solution to a dark world. One of my favorite movies growing up was The Last Dragon. It's funny how we spent the entire movie looking for something which was already on the inside of him. He was looking for the final level, the glow. It's funny how I look at the father's greatest creation, you, wandering your entire life looking for a new master to follow, a guide, a sage, a master, teacher, preacher, prophet, pastor, minister, guru, etc., to define who you are and somehow speak to your father on your behalf. But you have the glow. It's inside you. Psalm 82, verses 5 through 8. They know not, neither will they understand. They will walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. You are both spirit and matter, God and man, heaven and earth. We have been convinced that we are just men, full of flaws and shortcomings. You are not your past pain. You are God's. The foundations of the earth are out of course because you don't know who you are. The earth was given to the children of men, the gods of the earth, Adam, mankind, sons of God, God kingdom. To take dominion, be fruitful, multiply, replenish it with light. You have the ability to function like the most high. You are gods, but you just don't know it. Only you can light up the dark world. The Old Testament is your North Star, guiding you to the Son of God, the second Adam, the God Kingdom. This visual is seen in the Christmas story, where the wise men went on the journey, guided by the star, to see the Son of God. The gifts represent their wealth and strength. The Son came to seek and to save that which was lost. Who and what was lost? The who is the descendants of the Father, Adam, God King was lost. What was lost? The identity of God's children was lost. Like the eagle that was raised in the chicken coop, he starts to believe that he is a chicken. Mankind is the lost sheep and has been discovered and placed on the shoulders of the second Adam and put back into his rightful place. The foundations of the world were out of place and caused the world to be dark. The foundations of the world were out of place and caused the world to be dark. The government, the kingdom, was placed on the shoulders of the second Adam and restored. The lost has now been found, so rise and take the earth. The light has come to you, and now is the time to set order to the universe. Set order to your own body and to your mind and soul. Take dominion, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. You are the good Samaritan. You see your brother. 
battered and bruised and broken, but your religious outfit won't allow you to feel for your brother. So you walk to the other side of the road. It's your job to pick up your brother and help him finish his journey. You may have found yourself battered, broken, and bruised along your journey. It doesn't matter what happened to you, but what does matter is that you get up and finish your journey. You must discover light. You must be one with light. You must discover your glow. Then and only then can you light up a dark world. God plus earth equals who does your child look like? I think it's clear that the male plants his seed into a woman and she brings forth a child. I also believe that it is widely accepted that the body of the child comes from the woman. I think the birthing process is evident and also resembles nature in that if you plant a seed in the ground, whatever seed type it is, it is going to harvest and produce fruit. So it's clear, if I plant an apple seed into the earth, I will reap a tree along with apples. I want to make sure we all are on the same page, so if I plant a fig tree, I will get a fig tree and some fig fruit. So my question, if God plants his seed, DNA, spirit light in the earth, I mean honestly, we see what happens when apple and fig trees are planted into the earth, but ask yourself the question, if God plants his seed into the earth, what do they produce? If two living organisms come together in the reproduction process, duplication, procreation, multiplying, and propagation is the natural result. God said, let us make man, humanity, God kingdom in our image and after our likeness. They should take dominion, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Take the newly created species and spread them throughout the earth. I think this is one of the most overlooked passages in scripture. Historically, I feel we have disregarded, neglected, and just ignored one of the most powerful aspects of the creation story. Today's spiritual prayer and meditation brought to you by Mr. Cornell Gregory. Shoto. Make a label of some cardi. So tall, yeah,
GKP Proverbs 23. The wise man seeks the cave after battle, but the fool never leaves the battlefield. He would die a thousand deaths. GKP Proverbs 24. A wise king never leaves for battle unless he has unless he is prepared and has counted the cost. But the fool can control his anger and dies a thousand deaths. GKP Proverbs 27. A blind judge that can't see right or wrong can't give verdict in the court of the God Kingdom. He must be removed by the children of God. GKP Proverbs 31 The fool prays for peace on the battlefield. He is already dead. GKP Proverb 33 The wise man sees past pains and pressures as training for the battle. But the fool still is afraid of the battlefield. GKP Proverb 34 A fool with no vision asks the lost man for direction. But the wise man reviews his compass and his map. GKP Proverb 36 the foolish king fights wars for his enemies, and the enemy steals the kingdom of the fool. But the wise king protects his kingdom from his enemies. GKP Proverb 38 The fool loses his temper when his house is hot. But the wise understand he controls the temperature of his house. GKP Proverb 35 GKP Proverbs 45 The thief convinced the fool that his brother was his enemy in order to steal the family treasure. The wise never listens to thieves. GKP Proverbs 49 A wise warrior never takes leadership of a coward. Fear can't lead strength. The fool gives his sword to the coward. GKP Proverbs 58 The fool wants the love of his enemy because he forgot his watch. But the wise understands the time of war. GKP Proverbs 60 The evil general sends his neighbor's son to war. But the wise general teaches his son to protect his innocent neighbor. GKP Proverbs 63 He who begs for mercy on the battlefield becomes a slave, but he who dies on the battlefield will forever be free. GKP Proverbs 66 Never let a poor gesture or a clown lead the good soldier. Never let a court gesture or the, a clown lead the good soldier. He doesn't understand the seriousness, the seriousness of battle, and war would never be funny. GKP Proverbs 66 Never let a court gesture or a clown lead the good soldier. He doesn't understand the seriousness of battle, and war would never be funny. GKP Proverbs 67 Those who die protecting the innocent will get a crown from their father, but those who kill the innocent will see the fiery womb of their mother. GKP Proverbs 75 The fool asks his enemy to teach him the rules of war. But the wise understand his enemy is his enemy. GKP Proverbs 76 The enemy told the fool, life is but a game. But the wise understand, life is war, and games are only played with family and neighbors. GKP Proverbs 77 
GKP Proverbs 77. This lesson has been brought to you by the God Kingdom Philosophy, Creator and Master Teacher, Mr. Cornell Gregory. To find out more, please visit Mr. Cornell Gregory Health Coach. Dot com. Until next time, have a peaceful journey.